On a wooded bluff on the south side of the point overlooking Croton Bay sits the impressive red brick ruins of a time long gone. A handsome patch of real estate, Croton Point had been carved out some 35,000 years ago by the Wisconsin Glacier, which advanced and retreated, leaving the spectacular water-surrounded promontory, which has been coveted by so many. For nearly 10,000 years, it was the winter home of the migratory Kichewang people of the Lenape Nation, who had an impressive stockade called Navish on the opposing side of the peninsula. Virtually limitless stocks of deer, sturgeon, bass, as well as an abundance of oysters made Croton Point an idyllic site upon which to settle. The Underhill family was one of the earliest and most prominent in Westchester County's history. Robert Underhill purchased Croton Point in 1804 and his son Richard eventually developed the property into a very successful vineyard and winery with underground wine cellars built into the hillside on the property. In the distance, the Interwasser Mansion loomed over acres and acres of Catawba grapes that spanned the horizon. In October 1867, Harper's Weekly published a full-page wood engraving of the Underhill Vineyards, entitled Gathering Grapes. The image takes us back to a time when Richard T. Underhill was the undisputed grape king of Croton Point. How significant were the Underhill Vineyards? In his multi-volume History of Wine in America, Thomas Penny says the Underhills were the first dynasty in American viticulture. The scale and long life of their vineyards give them the claim to be the real founders of winemaking in the Hudson Valley. Underhill and his son's grapes won many awards and the family was known both for promoting the American grape industry and for developing new varieties of grape cultivars. For whatever reasons, by 1873, the vineyards has fallen into decline as the family turned its interest to the local brick industry. The County of Westchester has owned and operated the point since 1923 when it acquired it from Inglis Upper Sioux of the Cadillac Corporation. After a dismal half century serving as the county's dump, it was brought into service as a park. The shuttered ruin of the Underhill cellars are a sad reminder of the once gloriously cultivated showpiece that was the Richard T. Underhill Vineyard. Those ruins are also crying out for a rescue before they are fully consumed by nature.